Every day we do the big eye. It's big ideas for the future. We love this segment. Today's big eye, concepts for the second space age. That's the theme of Electrolux Design Labs competition this year. Undergraduate and graduate students design, uh, well, they're design students, but they come up with ideas and solutions for things in your home for the year 20. 50, 2050. This is what I love. People thinking not about next year or the year after. We're thinking about the future. Henrik Otto joins me. He's the senior vice president of design for Electrolux. He joins me now from London. Uh, Henrik, what is this about, uh, this contest? What's it supposed to do? Well, it's, uh, it's a contest where uh, we get a lot of uh, input from uh, students and uh, get a lot of creative ideas on, on new kind of uh, ways of creating appliances for the future. And what's their what's the evidence? Um, they get a they get a prize. Yes, of course. I mean, first prize is a uh, six uh, six month internship and a five thousand euro um, check, uh, and uh, the internship is at any of our design centers around the world. Let's talk about what you ask them to do. You ask them to uh, envision how people will cook and store their food, wash their clothes or dishes, do things at home basically uh, in, in uh, 2050. And the, we've talked about this before on the show. The idea is by 2050, uh, three quarters of the world is going to be urban. The world is urbanizing. More people are moving to cities, which means uh, places will be smaller to live. There'll be more competition for space. Uh, you got 1,300 submissions. Uh, 25 semifinalists were announced. Let's, let's run through some of the, the neat things that, you, that came out of this. One of them is called a bio-robot refrigerator. Tell us about this. Oh, the bio-robot refrigerator. That's the, uh, uh, I think that's the entry from uh, Russia. Uh, Russia, with, that's right, yeah. Uh, yeah, with the, uh, it's, it's a green gel where you just push your groceries into it instead of uh, having a compressor and, and uh, just cooling it with air. So it contains it without any shelves inside that gel. And it just it, it it's and the gel keeps it cold, keeps it cold and fresh. Yes, apparently so. I mean, uh, what we've done now is is we've gone through the uh, 25 uh, semi-finalist, which is then the early concept, and then on from that we will then pick the eight finalist for the uh, finals here in London in September. All right. Another one that caught my attention was a uh, a handheld washing machine, which I'm told takes its inspiration from an everyday steam iron. Uh, do you know about this? Uh, gee, there are 25 semi-finalists. I'm not sure which one it is because I don't have any pictures in front of me. All right, what, what I know about this is that I, all, all I know is that it cr cleans, dries, and irons all at once. I'm going to love that. And, and the other thing that, uh, that caught my eye was a, a robotic fish washer. It's a fish, a robotic fish, get this, that eats yeah. the stuff off your dishes and then turns it into a yep. biofuel. That sounds incredible. Yeah, and then at the same time also cleans the uh, the water. That's the entry from one of the entries from Japan. Uh, it's called so uh, what the happens? fish washer. Yeah. Fish washer. I love it. W what's the idea here? So Electrolux, you you. What a great idea. We like this on uh, this idea of sponsored competitions or incentivized competition. Uh, the idea here is you are you are getting some of the brightest design minds out there. They want to get a chance to work with you. Electrolux gets ideas that it then develops into uh, into appliances and things for the future. Yeah, what it does is, I mean, one, one of the wonderful things with working with students is that they've got absolutely no preconceived ideas of what you can and what you can't do. And that's, I mean, that's one of the beautiful things with the uh, refrigerator that you mentioned and also the, uh, the uh, fish washer. They have no preconceived ideas about the industrial setup. So we get a lot of, of uh, lateral thinking into our own innovation yep. process, which I think is extremely refreshing. What's the driving force when you think of 2015, you think of greater urbanization? Is it using less energy? Is it using less space? Is it uh, environmentally uh, cleaner? What, what tends to be the driving force for these students? Well, I think, to be quite honest, I think it's all of the above that you mentioned. Um, and I think it's, it's, you just have to accept the simple fact that we're going to be a lot more of us. We're not going to uh, accept the lower quality of life, so we have to create... Uh, what I would refer to uh, some kind of an amorph living space where you have a different type of appliances mm -hmm. for the future that caters for, for everything in your daily needs. I'm excited. I hope I'm, uh, I'm around to enjoy it. Henrik, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for the good work you're doing. Henrik Otto is a senior VP of design at Electrolux.